Are you expecting another boring summer of bland, same old cable shows? Well, check out all the great new programs on TLC's summer reality TV extravaganza. Mondays at 8, we follow couples around furniture stores as they argue over which couch best fits their living room decor on Say Yes to the Sofa. I like this one over here because it's got a fold-out bed. What, so your drunk friends can crash on our place? No thanks. Besides, the blue doesn't match our carpet. You are such a bitch. Then at 9 o'clock, watch Rap Star Exhibit delight seniors and the disabled by taking their mobility chairs down to West Coast Customs as they pimp my scooter. Yo, Mad Mike, how are you gonna hook up this rascal? I'm thinking spinning chrome rims, video screens on the back so people behind them can watch videos, and the final touch, a super amped up bass system to play their favorite music. What does Lawrence Welk sound like on a mad bass system? Check it. <laughs> Yo, Grandma ain't gonna need no hearing aid to hear that, yo. On Tuesdays, the fun continues at 8. Isaac and Raphael are the best wedding planners in the business, but they don't do people weddings. We specialize in extravagant weddings for pets of the rich and famous. We've done weddings for Paris Hilton's Pugs, Liza Minnelli's Terriers, and Charo's Chihuahuas. This flamboyant duo can plan your pet's fake nuptials, which ironically are still more widely accepted than gay marriage. But be sure to bring your wallets. Our average client spends more for their pet wedding than most of you viewers make in an entire year. But it's not all glamour. I just walked in and found the poodle bride had eaten her veil. Poor bitch will be shitting sequins for a week. That's Pet Wedding Planners. Then on Tuesdays at 9, are your children out of control? Let us send in our certified child behavior expert to straighten them out. But she has a few secrets of her own. I'm a woman trapped in a man's body. <laughs> That's right, it's the tranny nanny. I think little Tommy's problem is he's still confused. Have you ever let him wear a pair of your silky pink panties? Then Wednesdays at 8 o'clock. What could possibly go wrong preparing a dinner party for people with super restrictive diets? Find out on our new food preparation series, Vegan Dinner Party Disasters. I am a third level vegan, which means I'm not allowed to eat anything that includes flavor. So I brought my favorite side dish to share which is pureed wheatgrass pulp on rice cakes. It must be a filling recipe because most people just have a little taste and they are suddenly too full to eat anymore. Just wait till they try my bean curd brownies for dessert. Blech. The fun continues at nine as we send ex-presidential candidate Rick Santorum with the camera crew to abortion clinic waiting rooms to try to convince the patients to change their minds in the hilarious new Say Maybe to the Baby. Well, think about this. If you don't have that baby, not only will you go to hell, but uh, how will my Republican colleagues be able to take away its health care and education? Mr. Santorum, I'm pretty sure what you're doing here is illegal. Then on Thursday nights at 8 o'clock, take a look into the dark heart of delicious addiction as we follow the lives of three women consumed by their passion for petite pastries on Cupcake Hoarders. I've been collecting cupcakes for about 10 years now. I can't eat them. To me, each one is a little work of art. After a few months, they become rock hard, like tiny statues. Well, maybe we can start by throwing out the moldy ones. Don't touch my cupcakes, bitch! Then on Fridays, it's the most anticipated show of the season. From the makers of Toddlers and Tierras comes a new preteen beauty pageant. But here's the twist. The judges are all convicted child molesters who will be choosing America's Sexiest Children. Well, contestants uh, two and three are both wearing a lot of trashy eye makeup, which I'm kind of partial to. But uh, at the same time, uh, contestant number six is showing a lot of skin, which, uh, you know, daddy-like. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think there's not enough boys in this competition. So you think you've seen the worst that trashy reality television has to offer? Well, you ain't seen nothing yet till you check all the great new programs on TLC's Summer Reality TV Extravaganza.